Good day. Shane here with Apex Custom Smokers with a build video of this heavy duty garden hose reel. The customer asked for something substantial to accommodate his three quarter inch garden hose, which they picked up south of the border. They had tried other reels meant for smaller hoses, which failed in one way or another. So asked me to fabricate one that would not only hold the hose, but last for years to come. I decided to use all quarter inch steel for it. And to be honest, as I was plasma cutting the two ends of the reel itself, I had no idea of what I was going to do for the base. Here, I'm cutting the end holes for the spindle ends. One good thing about hand cutting circles with the plasma cutter is that dead center is already marked out, ensuring proper spinning without any wobbling. Here is the main part of the reel. I'm doing the hole for the water pipe to feed through. The end of the pipe is being beveled to ensure proper weld penetration. I ended up doing three passes. I used 6011 for the first pass around both the end spindles and the main pipe. Pro tip, nip off a half inch or so off the corner of a speed square so it will fit over a weld to ensure things are square. On the main pipe here, I again used 6011 for the first pass, then 7014, and I capped it with MIG.
Here is the black pipe I used for the water feed to fit into the pipe in through the hole that I had drilled out earlier. I sealed all the joints with the appropriate pipe thread sealer before installing it. Here, I'm doing the third and final pass on everything using MIG. I decided to make up the angle I needed out of quarter inch plate as my metal supplier only had 3 16 inch angle in stock, which would have been more than adequate. However, I had quoted quarter inch, so I ended up just fabricating my own. I stick welded three passes using 7014 for all three. And once finished, cut them to length using my Evolution sliding miter saw. 
I had initially thought of a cube base, but it would have been really bulky and heavy and much larger than it needed to be. So I decided to do a triangle stand on either side, like a wire roll holder Sparky's use. For those who don't know, I'm a 309A Sparky myself. Anyways, I decided on a 70 degree angle for the sides and using some good old trigonometry, figured out what angle the top and bottom cuts needed to be. That's one great thing about this Evolution miter saw. It cuts angle much easier than the 14 inch cold cut saws as the base spins instead of having to spin the material itself. Those of you with a 14 inch cold cut saw know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Here, I'm cutting the base of each side, this time using my seven and a quarter inch evolution with a blade I got from all places, Canadian Tire. I did a review a few weeks back if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on the blade itself. Here, I'm just tacking the sides to the base, making sure both sides mirror one another before welding them out. Here, I'm cutting the cross braces before welding them on to each side stand.
I marked the holes for the pillow bearings and tapped each hole by hand. Here's two different camera angles of bolting on the reel to the stand. I opted not to weld the bearings on as I'm sure the reel and stand will outlast the bearings a few times over. I didn't grind the plasma cut edges of the reel as I planned on doing this from the get-go. Not only did it ensure an even edge to prevent any wobble, it was entertaining as heck to my inner child. Whee! Look at it go! It was also a good quality control exercise to ensure the reel didn't wobble at all. And finally, the paint job. I simply used flat black exterior rust enamel. And here's the final water test. I had the hose hooked up for the better part of an afternoon, spinning it periodically to make sure that there is no leaks. The long fitting on the reel is just temporary. It's the shortest nipple I had on hand to cap it for the water test. There's actually a brass hose fitting that goes on, but as you can see, it spins freely. And as I loosen the hose, the pressure from the sun heated water sprays all over, showing it was leak free. and the finished product. The handle is just half inch black pipe with one inch copper pipe fitting loosely over it so it can spin freely as the hose is wound onto the reel. A simple project, but one I was happy to do. If this is your first time watching, please consider subscribing. To everyone else, thanks a lot for coming back. Hope you like this one. Feel free to leave a comment. We'll see you on the next one. Apex Custom Smokers, out. Look at it go.